Hey everybody, Doreen here, and uh, well, today I got something I got to share with you guys. It's not easy for me. It's not. It's not easy. Since I was little, since I was little, I have been suffering from an addiction. Maybe not little, but young. Since I was young, young enough, I've been suffering with an addiction, and it, it, it's really gotten in the way of my life. It's really gotten in the way of my health. I, I can't look in the mirror without feeling disgusted with myself because of it, and. Um, I don't know, I just have to come clean with you guys, I do. I am terribly addicted to Coke. Um, it's bad. It's really bad. I, I just, I can't get enough of it. It's so bad. <sighs> Worth the bad pun. <laughs> Anyways, how you guys all doing today? You doing good? I'm doing good, actually. I'm tired as fuck, but that's how I'm gonna start every vlog. Bang, bang. But yeah, so this week's been pretty interesting. This has been an emotional roller coaster, um, but like one of those little carnival roller coasters where it's not really loops or any big drops. It's kind of just low, low but lower sometimes. You go one, one of these loops, you know, where it goes like that. And here's why, here's why. I saw Logan, let's just start off with that. I saw Logan at midnight, or at, at, I, I got out of Logan at midnight, the day that I, I, I couldn't get a Switch because I didn't have enough money to get a fucking Switch. Didn't have enough money. I have to wait till next paycheck to get a Switch because I get my commissions on my second paycheck. Ah, no Switch for Dorian. All I got is this Coke. But um, I'm really, I'm really upset. Like, honestly, I'm really, really upset that I can't play Zelda and I don't have a Switch. Amelia got one and I'm gonna get to play it today. I'm not gonna play Zelda because I want my experience to be, you know, I want that experience in my room, cranking it open for the first time. But um, we're gonna play one, two Switch. I don't know anything about it, but it might be pretty cool. I'm sure it'll be cool. And also, I saw Logan. I saw Logan and I love Wolverine. I love Wolverine so much, but what I love more than Wolverine is Hugh Jackman. I love Hugh Jackman. I loved Hugh Jackman on Broadway. I love Hugh Jackman in Le Miz. I love Hugh Jackman in almost everything he fucking does. I love him as an actor. He's amazing. I just, he's honestly probably my favorite actor. Um, he, his emotional range is insane. Um, and you don't get to see that a lot, you know, in the Wolverine movies and things like that. But it is, it is insane. Um, him and Patrick Stewart and having them both in this fucking movie was just, I mean, having them both in this movie and for it to be able to have that kind of emotional depth, it was just surreal. It was great. It was brilliant. And I cried. Uh, I almost cried. And it was just sad. It was just sad and good. It was so good. It was everything I wanted it to be but at the same time, everything I didn't want it to be because it's, you know, it, it is his last performance as Wolverine and to be completely honest, his best. And it really upsets me that now all of a sudden, because of Deadpool, but now all of a sudden Fox has finally realized, hey, they want gritty adult X-Men movies. What? That's wild. They don't want these cheesy storylines that we make up and terrible plots and dialogue. What? They want real movies? Wow, this is insane. I guess we should start doing these and then at the same time get rid of Hugh Jackman. And I know it was his choice, but we finally get the performance. Correction. We get finally get the movie both of them deserved to have a long time ago. And... And now it's over. And I'm gonna say an unpopular opinion here that a lot of people might not agree with because it's a very popular movie and director, but uh, I don't care for any of the Brian Singer X-Men movies. I don't care about X, the, the first X-Men. Um, no, I mean, I, I care about it in that it's the first X-Men, but I think that's, that's the thing. So many people saw it as the first X-Men that they don't realize how, how bad it was how bad that first X-Men was. So when you have an okay movie where you're introducing superheroes for the first time in a long time, um, 
and then proceed to make shittier movies afterwards, it's always going to look good. But after watching Logan and after watching Deadpool and then going back and seeing the first X-Men movie, I'm like, what the fuck is wrong with you, motherfuckers? You have been shitting on this fucking franchise for so long. Fox, you have been shitting on this franchise for so fucking long. You should have gave it to Marvel the moment the MCU started, but you didn't. And in a way, that's good because we got a good Deadpool and we got a good Wolverine. And those two movies, to be completely honest, have kind of redeemed the rest of the X-Men movies in my eyes. But God damn it. God damn it, guys. You know, everyone hated the Wolverine and X-Men Origins. And you know what? I'm not going to say they didn't have the right to. Um, like Fox does, they really shit on a lot of a lot of fans with those movies. But I always enjoyed them because maybe I'm a fanboy, but because all I really wanted and all I really expected and all I really needed out of those movies was to see Hugh Jackman as Wolverine and have a good performance from him. I could give two shits that they butchered Deadpool before anyone ever knew or cared about who Deadpool really was, unless you were a pretty good comic man. And I could give two shits about fucking Silver Samurai. He's a fucking stupid hero in the first place. Like, who gives a shit? Who really gives a shit? I don't know. I saw Logan, and I'm not going to say any spoilers, but it, man, it hit me in the feels like a fucking truck. I couldn't barely sleep that night. I stayed up for like an hour or two hours just laying there thinking about it. And it was just, it just hit me, man. It just hit me. Oh, this Coke. I love this Coke. But when I drink soda without eating and when I'm really like exhausted, it really fucks my body up. Like I can feel pains. I say as I drink more of it. Um, and then the other thing is fucking Breath of the Wild being out and not being able to fucking play it while listening to my roommate play it down the hall all fucking night. Um, really, really makes me sad. Really makes me sad. I'm lucky I haven't seen spoilers. A lot of people have been respectful about it, even though Corey's being a little dickbag all the time on my stream uh, with his talk about his Zelda and his Switch. But aside from that, people have been really chill about it. Um, but yeah, that's basically all I can think about for my week because, um, I mean, it's the end of my week. I saw Logan on Thursday. Um, this which came out on Friday, but it has overshadowed everything else. Everything else. I did an interview with Jeremiah, actually. Uh, that's already on the channel. Um, a friend of mine, Jer Bear, And I did that on Friday. We also did a little game that I'm going to be posting um, probably tomorrow or Tuesday, um, which was cool. And um, the stream, I got that all ironed out. I got, uh, I got the chat in there. I got some... Uh, overlays and stuff like that it looks really crisp really clean mm, beautiful um and yeah that's been my week i spent a lot of time working i spent a lot of time working i never remember whenever i do these vlogs i never remember anything i did at the beginning of the week i should probably start writing that down um all i remember is the end of the week which are honestly like my least active days but that's because most of my weekdays um are either on youtube already or streaming on on YouTube also, and that takes up hours. Just saying, just saying. So, um, yeah, this whole vlog has basically been about Logan, and I don't care because I love it. Um, thank you guys all for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like, share, and subscribe. Other than that, I hope you all have a wonderful day. Grab a Coke, and I'll see you all in my next video. Later. <sighs>